Hey, Jack. You caught Blakey's face. What's he smiling about? Smiling, is he? Yeah. Oh, blimey, we'd better go to the management and report the accident. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, you know, he is. Oh, you've got a little bit of soup stuck on your moustache. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll just clean it off. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, uh, a bit friendly, aren't they? Oh, I'm good. He's been taking her out. No, go away. Take yeah. a little bird out. Yeah, must be having his last fling. <laughs> his last fling? Well, if he's having anything, it's his first. Hey, I like your moustache. Especially when it tickles, eh? <laughs> well, whatever it is, he's having it. <laughs> so we're going to have your lunch then, Cyril, love. I, I don't think you ought to call me Cyril, not in <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What would you fancy then, Mr Blake, darling? <laughs> what can I tempt you with then? Some of this? Yeah. Oh, I know. i got something special hidden for you under the counter. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she has. <laughs> nice steak and kidney. Oh. I kept you all the best bits. <laughs> My favourite. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll see you later on in the What's this favouritism then? You got more in your ration now, mate. It's steak and kidney pudding. I've got no more on my plate than you got on yours. I know. You got all the steak and kidney, and blimey, look at this, mate. We got all the pudding. <laughs> no, no, fair, fair, Stan. I mean, some people have got to keep up their strength, haven't they? Now, what do you mean by that remark? Oh, blimey, don't tell me you're taking her out just to get an extra bit of kidney. <laughs> now, you mind your own business. That young lady happens to be a very nice girl. Oh, come on, it, Blake. You can't be serious. Well, why can't it be serious? Oh, you wouldn't understand, you sir. You know, I can't understand these young birds going out with these old blokes. Well, it's all the rage these days, doesn't it? Is it? Well, it's Jacqueline Kennedy and Anassis all over again. <laughs> Wait, all them insinuations just because I've got a bit of extra kidney. No, no, Blackie, she knows what she was doing. That's not kidney, that's monkey gland. <laughs> <laughs> You're depraved, you two. <laughs> <laughs> Just got your little extra kidney, love, I saved for you. Oh. Yeah. Is that all right? God <laughs> blimey, there won't be a monkey left in the zoo. <laughs> yeah, you've got to keep your strength up. Oh, aye, aye, aye. I'll be ready about half past two. Yeah, yeah. Film don't start till three. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, all right? I'll, I'll see you later on, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Blackie, why are you chucking Molly to the pictures in the afternoon, then? Well, blimey, look at him. He'll get in for half price as an old-age pensioner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Molly won't. Well, she'll get in half price with his daughter. <laughs> I've just about had enough of you two. What I do with my afternoons off is my business. Go on, Stan, mate. Hey, Blackie, what pictures are you going to see, then? Well, he's got to be taking it in a regal, hasn't he, to see Dracula and the vampires. Why is that? <laughs> well, nice little girl that she is, naturally, uh, he wanted to meet his family, so... Oh, <laughs> Nearly half past here. All right, put in fags out. You know the regulations. What as I do. I shan't be long. I'm just going to go and powder my nose, all right? <laughs> she has got a nice pair, hasn't she? <laughs> Never noticed. Never noticed. Uh, go. Blimey, mate. Your pulse is racing. Yeah. Ooh. Blakey. You're too old for her, mate. You'll strain yourself. <laughs> Women don't affect me like that at all. What are you talking about? Of course they do. We can tell by your moustache. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, it's a well-known fact, isn't it? It's to do with the hormones. I mean, when a bloke's thinking about sex, it makes his hair grow faster. <laughs> what? Rubbish, honestly. That's not rubbish at all, mate. When she walked past there, you stuck half inch on your moustache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go and get my coat, all right? <laughs> you want to put your heart, Blakey, mate, I tell you that. Talk it's bouncing it. so hard, mate, it's making your pencils shake. <laughs> Get that bus out, go on. Yeah. <laughs> Poor old Blakey, eh? Hey? Good old Lois, he's got it bad, hasn't he? Come on, Jack, let's get it there. Uh, he's forgotten to do me way, Bill. I better get it done. Yeah. Here, Stan, come here. Here. Have a butcher's look. God, he's got it bad, hasn't he? Look. He's touching himself up. <laughs> What's he doing now? 
Oh, he's taking one of them little pills that fortifies the over 40s. <laughs> Just taking two. Yeah, well, perhaps he's one of the over 80s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the Oh, uh, he's in his office, love. Oh, fine, thanks. Hey, Molly. Yeah? Why are you going out with him, then? Well, he's asked me to do something none of you other chaps in this depot ever have. Oh, I told you, those tall black things in Max are kinky. He's <laughs> asked me to marry him. Marry him? Oh, yeah. Dad, oh, Dad, you're joking. Honest, Dad, he says we're going to go and live in the country and he's going to give up his job. Yeah, Blakey, give up his job? Yeah. Live in the country? Yeah, he says we're going to raise chickens. Blimey, that's about all he will raise. <laughs> <laughs> He's told me he's a nature lover. I can't believe that, seeing what nature's done to him. <laughs> oh, no, Molly, I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, a couple of months with him, he'll be straining a bit bored stiff. Well, what if I do get a bit bored? There's always them country lads. I mean, they're healthy, them farm lads, aren't they? Oh, she's a brazen bit, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, hello. All ready? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Come on, then. You should have got that bus out. Come oh, on. It's on your way, Bill. Yeah. Come on, hurry along, yeah? All right. You're 30 seconds late. Yeah. Come on, come on, get it out. All right, all right. Sure, blimey, the sooner he goes, the better. Can you see him on the chicken farm? Yeah. Running around with his little stopwatch, eh? Time and ordered little chickens for not getting their eggs out on time. <laughs> Mr. Blake. Oh, I don't believe and a him, girl mate. Or Listen, a I tell you, she told us that Blake is going to marry her. Oh. Because I know what he's after. She's a right little girl, that one. Oh, I think it's terrible. Well, if you ask me, there's far too much sex about these days. Can't say I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand it, really. Blimey, he's knocking 60. Oh, well, love. Some men in their 60s are like men of 30. Yeah, and some men in their thirties are like men of sixty. <laughs> what are you insinuating by that? You should have seen Blakey this morning when he came to the depot, and that Molly walked by him with her little mini skirt on. Yeah. It was like a jelly. <laughs> Clipboard was shaking like that, and a big fella like him all. <laughs> yeah, you won't believe this, but when my mother was a girl, grown men were known to faint at the sight of a girl's knees. Oh, I can believe that. Fellas faint at the sight of her knees and all. <laughs> I've got lovely knees, haven't I, Arthur? Yeah, very nice. Pity they go down to your ankles. <laughs> Why can't you pay me a compliment? Yeah, actually, they go down to your toes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get back to the other chef now. Oh, well, I'll Blakey will be after me if I don't, you know. Really? One thing we've got to thank Molly for, you know. What's that? We won't have Blakey after as much longer. Oh. You don't know when you're well off, mate, do you? What are you talking about? I don't know, he lets you get away with it, turning up to work looking like a scruff. Ah, oh, come off it, mate. He's after us every minute of the day. It's Molly, I think, of. I don't envy her marrying him, I tell you. Oh, I'm sure he'll be very nice to oh, her. Can you imagine their wedding night? She'll have to stick to regulations. Hey? Yeah, and if I know Blakey, he'll have her turning up for duty half hour earlier, he'll give her a thorough inspection, and then he'll see if her engine's well warmed up. <laughs> I used to. Butler and Harper. As you know, I'm planning to leave you shortly and. Uh, Hooray! Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Stewart here, who is uh, Chief Inspector at Number Two Depot, is coming to take over from me, and I shall be handing over to him in the next couple of days. Yes. Say. Number 11 to the cemetery gates. You're due out in five minutes, aren't you? That's yes, right, yeah. yeah. A few men come on duty dressed like that. Yeah, what was wrong? You know the regulations. All bus crews should be smart and neat and wear a collar and tie. Do you let them get away with this sort of thing? Yeah. Have I your permission to report these men? You certainly have, Mr. Stewart. Yeah. Would you care to do it with my pencil? <laughs> Thank you. I'll just check the bus. Cocoa, Cyril. <laughs> oh, my, you look happy. Yes, I'm having a lovely day today. Oh, <laughs> not stand for this new bloke. We'll just have to hang on to Blakey. We can't do that. Look at him. Blimey's besotted. <laughs> Listen, if he knew what sort of bird she really was, he'd drop her like hot brick. We'll just have to tip him off. No, 
we can't do that. I mean, we'd have to be a right couple of baskets to do a thing like that, wouldn't we? <laughs> hey, you two! Look what I have found in the driving cab. Cigarette ends. And a cheese roll in the first aid box. <laughs> I'm suspending you two forthwith. And you'll both lose a shift. In all my years as inspector, I have never met such a shower as you two. One more instance like this, and you're both dismissed. <laughs> Let's be a right couple of baskets. <laughs> Can't stand this other fella, I'm telling you that. All right, I wash me neck. <laughs> That's only, mate, I washed me arm ears this morning. <laughs> I bet that was a bit of a shock, wasn't it? No, it's nasty. I found a couple of doggins. <laughs> <laughs> Heads up. Hey, uh, Blakey, are you uh, taking Molly to the social, then? Eh? Yes, I think we might look in. Uh, yes, it might be the last chance. Yeah, why don't you come and have a couple of noggins with us, then, love? Oh, no, no. Uh, Molly doesn't drink or smoke, do you, love? Oh, no, love. No, uh, she'll be leaving early anyway. Likes to get to bed early, don't you? Yeah, well, I know that. <laughs> oh, it's my phone now. Look, uh, I'll be a bit late at the depot. Yeah? Uh, I'll be in the canteen about half past eight. All oh, right? all right, then. Tra. <laughs> hey, what's all this like about you not drinking and that? Well, you know him. He doesn't like girls who smoke and drink and play around. I didn't know there was any other kind. <laughs> Mind you, I don't know how I am going to last out all evening without a drink. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, uh, why don't you come and have a few with us before you start, then? Oh, no, I wouldn't dream of it. Oh, come on. Yeah, come no. on, come on. <laughs> oh, well, you've talked me into it. <laughs> uh, right, that's it. Well, uh, you live down our way. Say we meet up at the Rose and Crown, then, uh, bottom of our road. Oh, lovely. Mm. Oh, well, I'll see you there, then. Yeah. Hey, uh, don't let him know about it, will you? No. Uh, <laughs> That's it, the wedding's off. <laughs> oh, what a right level! <laughs> here, here, have you heard the one about the topless waitress and the archbishop? I haven't, no, I haven't. No. I've heard it, go on. Oh, I've heard it. Go on. Well, Stand yeah. up and I'll tell you then. <laughs> come here, come here. You're gonna take measure, see? Yeah. And he put it up again. Oh, no, no, I can't believe that. Hang on, hang yes, on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, you want to tell that one to Blakey? Oh, I will. <laughs> yeah, one more vodka. She won't care what she's doing. No, <laughs> I'll get her two. Uh, darling, uh, two vodkas and tomato juice, please, Rita. Yeah. <laughs> if she turns up at the social like that, Blake, it'll run a mile. Now, get her there quick before she sobers up. Yeah, OK, mate. Oh, darling, look at the time. I promised to pick up Betty. I'll see you two there, then. OK, okay then. Nice. Oh, that's very nice of you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot it. That's it. Uh, thank you, sweet. Lovely. Oh. Oh, my! What a big one! <laughs> Just did it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, drink up, love, because we don't want to keep your fiancé waiting. Oh, to hell with him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey what? did I ever tell you about the... What? About the soldier in the football boots? No, no, I don't know. I know. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> well, come on, I don't know. I don't know it. <laughs> 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 on the way to the depot. I'll oh, change my trousers. Now, drink up and come on. Go on. Oh, oh, come in, love, will you? Oh. Anybody home? Oh, looks like they're all out, love. Oh, what? Well, look, yeah, make yourself a toe, darling, and uh, I'll just nip up and uh, change my trousers. Yeah, all right. All right. Find them under the table, put aside the bed. Oh, the bed! 
Ja, okay, okay. Hey! Wie ist das? Ja, ja, ich hab das schon. Ich hab das schon. Me, when I was a boy scout, you know. Yeah? When I used to do me good deed for the day. Oh! Oh, well, don't you think you ought to do one today? <laughs> well, uh, I think we should. Uh... <laughs> what, are you, what are you taking your earrings all for? Well, they always fall off. <laughs> now, look, I think we should. Uh, we get going. Stanley, well, don't yeah. you think I've got lovely long legs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They go right up to your belt. <laughs> Um, look, we should be going to the social, you see, love, because uh, we're bit, we're, we're bit, we... I think you should do your good deed first. Well, I mean, it's not... Do you know something? What's that, love? You are the only busman in this depot who's never actually taken me out. Is that a fact? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Do you not fancy me? Well, yeah, of course, but... I mean, Tell I... me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stan must be home. Here, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? It would seem he has brought some female home with him. Oh, I expect they're in the front room. He's got her upstairs in his bedroom. <laughs> oh, we wouldn't do a thing like that, love. I can hear voices. Well, perhaps he's got Jack up there with him. <laughs> Jack does not say, give me another kiss, Stan. <laughs> Perfectly obvious what's happened. He's waited till we were out and he's brought some tart home. Oh, Arthur, that's all wrong. He wouldn't do that. Stan! Stan, are you upstairs? Good old man! Good old! It's the old girls! The old girls home! I told you, I lived Get Get up! Get up. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Painfully obvious. <laughs> Who's that upstairs? Uh, Molly. Uh, the, the inspector's uh, fiance, you know, I told you about Molly? her. Molly? Yeah. What's she doing here? Oh, didn't I tell you, Mum? Well, we were going to the socials, you know, and we met her, Jack and I, I said, met her at the uh, Rose and Crown at the bottom of the Rose, you know, and we nipped in for a couple of drinks, you know, and she, well, she wanted to go to the loo, and uh, as we passed here on the way to the depot, we, uh, she just popped in, that's all. Oh, <laughs> that's all right, Mum. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my dear. Did you get everything you wanted upstairs? <laughs> I mean, did Stan show you where everything was? Yes, yes, yes Mum, I did, yes, yes. Well, I know what you're like, love. You know, the last time he took a girl upstairs, she had to find everything for herself. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Mrs. Butler, the things you say! Do you know I'm a scream? <laughs> oh, my! <clears throat> I'll just go and get them. <laughs> Does she always take off her earrings before going to the loop? <laughs> I don't understand, Arthur. There's a certain type of woman always removes her earrings be be well. <laughs> I don't. Yours were rusted up long ago. <laughs> I find it rather offensive you have a woman up there in your bedroom. Don't be daft, Arthur. There's nothing to it. I mean, if she went to the loo, wanted to powder her face, naturally went into my bedroom to look in the mirror and left one of her earrings uh, on the uh, bed. Oh, yeah. Natural. There you are, Arthur. Oh, God, there. Oh, my <laughs> God, I'm so glad. Oh, there's something else. <laughs> you never guess. What? A bit of my bracelet got stuck to your vest when I tried to tear it off, look. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Johnny a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose <clears throat> we'll have to go to the social, otherwise we'll be late. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, Arthur. Oh, Mum. <laughs> Bye. It's been a pleasure. I'm sure it has. <laughs> Uh, nearly nine o'clock, and Molly's not here yet. You haven't seen her at all, have you? No, I haven't, no. Where's Butler, do you know? I don't know, no. I think I'd better go and have a look and see if I can see she's coming along. It's a bit dark out in the depot for a young girl, you know. Yeah. Look after my beer, will you? Don't get boiled, you know. You leave it alone. Oh, come on, get a move on. Look, I've been all cuddly. I where good. was we when your mum came in? I don't care where we was when mum came in. It's all off. It's finished. Come You're on, going to the social. I... Oh, I feel all cuddly, Stanley. Don't you? Look, look, let's go to the social. All the fellas are in here. You enjoy yourself. Yeah, and Cyril will be there and all, and he won't approve. I mean, I mustn't dis misbehave myself in front of my fiancé, must I? Oh, he won't mind. Not that. Just having a few beers with the boys. I mean, he's here, not that type come of... come on. What? Come hey, on! Get off the bus. Take us for a ride! Get off the bus! No! Shh. Get off the no, bus! Come on! Stop it! Listen, somebody! Come on! Get off the bus! Come on! No! Come on! Now listen! Come on, my love! My love! Come on! Get off the bus! Give us a hand! Come on! Get off the bus! Come on! Get off the bus! 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 Listen, mate, it's not what you think it is. You shut up, you! You're drunk, aren't you? He's got you drunk. Oh, no, he is. But I soon will be in half hour's time. Bully, how could you do this to me? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Honest, if you're going to carry on like this every time you find me on the floor with a fella... Bully! <laughs> oh, She's not for you, this bird, I'm telling you. She's a wrong one, I'll tell you this, I'll mate. kill you for this, but... No, 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 don't No jury in the world is convicted for it. I'll be <laughs> What's happening? He caught me with Molly. I'll never forgive you for this, I won't. Well, Blakey, I tell you, she's not for you, mate. <laughs> You made a fool of me, didn't you? Listen, Blakey, forget going away with her. Stay here with your pals. Yeah. Yes, I will. You're right, I will stay here. Yeah? yeah, good. I will. You, you, you'll be a lot happier. I will, I will, I will be happy. You're right, I will be happy, yeah. I'll stay here and I'll devote the rest of my days <laughs> to making your life an utter misery. <laughs> utter misery. Oh, blimey. I'm for it now, Jack. We, we, we shouldn't have done that, you know. Look, down me, Darl, Stan. I'll bet Molly's up the canteen now, under the table with one of the lads. She's anybody's. She's not. Oh, blimey, ain't it marvellous, eh? I get all the blame, and I'm the only one that hasn't had the pleasure. <laughs> Come on, man.